Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a reading for sign of Capricorn. And keep in mind that this does not resonate for every Capricorn. If you'd like a personal reading, it's going to be the first link in the description down below. I'll repeat that first link in the description down below for a personal reading. Also find my Etsy shop, my shirt store, my website, different social media platforms I'm on, as well as Patreon, Ko-Fi, Ghost Corp, and Ko-Fi. Help me reach the next levels so and get another deck. If you'd like to make a donation, feel free to do so. I do free donations here. So, Capricorn, let's see what spirit is in store for yourself with a message for you and what is coming towards you. So let's see for sign of Capricorn. have number two with the illumination. So something is getting illuminated to you, something you're, you're able to see clearly now. Okay? You're connecting with the moon quite heavily. Number eleven with make a decision. It's telling you to make a decision, Capricorn. Make a decision which way you're going, what's your goals here. Now, with the, yeah, with this, look at this. On this woman here, yeah, on one side we do have nature, we have the animals, but on the other side we have like this like, look at all these Egyptian things on her wings, and her wings kind of reminds me of, like, that goddess Isis. We have number 13 with renewal of peace. It's like your peace is being restored. And number four with pause. It's going to be a moment of pause, so I feel like you can make it make a decision which way you want to go. What you want to manifest with this moon. Number 10 with open your heart. You can be opening your heart to manifest your heart's desires, Capricorn. Number 23 with you are worth it. So, there is something you've been wanting. I don't know if you've been feeling kind of like, like, a, like a no, or maybe that's not right for you. It's telling you you are worth it, yet it's, it's fine. I also have a bunch of candles here, like, like white or gold, like a lotus or a flower, ship. Number 46 with gratitude and appreciation. So it feels like you're appreciating more of what you already have. Number 43 with love matters. So we're talking about matters of love, Capricorn. What do you want to do with love? Hmm? Love does matter. Make a decision with love, which way you want to go with it. Maybe appreciating more of love. I think I really want to read any of these cards. They're not really that interesting. Um, so let's get some room to promise yourself. Have justice, we have happiness, you have big breakthroughs happening, there is protection there, there's strength, even though physical things have been still, we have Horus, we have a rose, which can be uh, connected with love, and romance there. So let's do a stone reading for you, Capricorn. Rose quartz and we have tiger's eye. So tiger's eye is usually used for like protection. It's a great grounding stone. Tiger's eye is actually like has a big connection to your zodiac sign in general. All right, but it feels like you have a solid foundation, especially with that in the home. Okay, but we also have rose quartz. So rose quartz is like the stone of like love and self-love. So it feels like you have a good foundation with both here, Capricorn. Now you can find those stones on my Etsy shop as well. Like I said, that is all I have for you. First link in the description down below for a personal reading. Also, find my Etsy shop going to go buy something. Really appreciate that. If you want to see more content, don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye, guys.